I'm uh, here in the infield body shop where we've uh, got a nice little Carmen Ghia keeping the uh, Maserati Ghibli company. And uh, Jerry is doing some of the sanding that is part of the final stage of fitting panels before we paint this car. Um, everything is in place on the body. The panels all have their um, rough fitting done. Now we're into the fine fitting. Um, all of this has to fit perfectly before any paint goes on. Um, Rick is gonna step up and just uh, show some of the details here. We're doing final fitting just around the edges, around the gaps, getting all of the gaps correct, getting all of the final fit correct. We don't have it fit completely yet, but we're getting all of the final fits done on the front. As this is all a lot better than you see on uh, a typical Maserati of this period. Um, and it's going to get better before we paint it. Um, it doesn't look like much when it isn't painted, but if you've ever tried to fix misalignments like this with a, a painted car in the finished world, you know what a huge, huge challenge that is. Right now the car is in high build primer with its guide coat. The guide coat is this light dusting that they use to assist in seeing flat and contours and everything. The next step after the front is in high build is to block sand the entire body, get the final, final smoothness done on it, and then it'll be ready for paint. And this car, remember, was hit in the back here sometime in the distant past and the car was wrinkled all the way up to the top of the roof. So when you look at these lines now and you see how straight this trunk aligns and you look at the you look at the matching of the tail light openings, all of that has been entirely recreated in the body shop here in Enfield. Um, this was all structural damage that took countless hours to, to pull out and fix to, to make what you see here. And, and I think that with the work that's gone into this Ghibli body, I'm quite confident that this too is gonna be the best Ghibli there is.